Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are doing a coolant exchange, flush, whatever you want to call it, on my BMW E3318i. So, uh, today we're going to be using some Newlon Premium Long Life coolants. I have no idea if this shit's any good. I just bought it from my local Super Cheap Auto. And to help me install this mad oil, coolant, whatever it is, is my little brother, Jules. Come say hi. This Hello. is Jules. Hello. Jules was in one of my previous videos for brake, brake pads, I think, or rotors or some shit. So yeah, Jules is going to help us out. But without further ado, we'll drain this bad boy and we'll get into it. All right, the reason I am going to do this, uh, the reason I'm gonna do this is because I'm pretty sure this thing is bone dry. Like, um, I was reaching in there yesterday and I couldn't find anything. Um, yes, yeah, so this thing's bone dry, I'm pretty sure. And that's probably not good, seeing as this engine's 33 years old and probably needs as much love and attention as it can get. Isn't that right, Jules? Yes. Yeah, damn right, damn right, boy. Anyway, so without further ado, we're gonna get in here and we are going to Get draining. So we'll jump under the car, which is already jacked up. By jacked up, I mean it's literally on the jack and no jack stands, because what is safety? Boy. Anyway, let's get to it. So we're underneath the car now. That's the bottom of the radiator there. You can see that plug, which I'm pointing at that one there. That's what we're taking off. That's our drain plug. So we undo the drain plug, let it leak into our little bottle here. It's finally illuminated by this shit as torch Urgh, work yeah sweet so we'll get into that and we'll uh, get it done draining all right so got our trusty phillips head let's screw this oh that's dripping already and it's green coolant which is a good sign since they've all green coolant and that's gonna trip out and without all my clothes getting wet Now the reason that's pretty piss weak uh, drainage is because the top cap's still on. Oh, thanks Jules. Now it should be flowing a lot better. Not really. Uh, not really, it's still pretty shit. That's just because it's old. Yeah, mad. A few moments later. Sorry fam, fair amount of uh, time passed there. Had to have dinner and all that sort of shit, so I changed clothes. What not? So, um, now we're into the stage of mixing our coolant. Uh, uh, so we're gonna go a third, one third coolant, uh, concentrate, and two thirds water, and then we're gonna chuck her in. And that should be good. Now I know you, it's not a full flush, I know there's still old coolant and all sort of stuff wrapping around the engine and all that. Um, but yeah, it's a good enough thing for the moment, so we're gonna get into that and crack on. I mean, so with this old uh, soap container that I've thoroughly washed out so there's no soap left in it, um, we're going to be putting our third of pool in there and then topping it off with some water. And yeah, and then we'll just do that over and over and over again to make sure we get that ratio correct. Otherwise, yeah, we might be in a strife. Now, getting it in there will probably be messy. So, I'm going to put a towel down like this. That's better. All right, sweet. Track that in. As accurate as I can. Everybody's talking about the good old days. Uh, it's probably a little bit over a third, but you get the point. So I added my water as well. And now we're good to pour it in. Hopefully I can pour it in as accurate as possible. because I don't want to clean this shit up. Oh. 
Perfect, so put our cap back on. That was filled all the way up to the top. Oh, that was filled all the way up. Nice and roomy. Good boy. That was filled all the way up there. So I'll show that back on. Now, I know that's not a complete flush, but I was just topping it up, and I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. How we do it. Isn't that right? Jewels. Yas. Yas, boy. Anyway, that's done. So we'll start the engine, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Boop. All right, let's take it for a quick spin. Quick jewels. Mint, so we've, um, we've just started driving around. It hasn't blown up yet in 30 seconds, which is great, I guess. Uh, the temperature gauge, I realize, is broken on this car anyway, so even if it was running hot, I would have no idea. I'm just gonna get out and touch the engine. I don't like that's gonna help anyway, but, you know, mad as. Um, but it's feeling good, it's feeling, it's feeling smooth. Uh, that, that engine oil change and um, the coolant, is, I think, has helped it, you know, run a little bit better, for sure. It's feeling smooth all the way through the gears. Uh, it was a little bit jolty before Hanks. I think it was running really hot. Um, right, it's a cool night right now. It's, it's, it should be running pretty well. If, it, if, it's, if I see any difference, then I'll know that it's because it's getting a little hot. Um, but I probably should just fix my temperature gauge. You know, it's probably the easiest thing in the world. But uh, I should do that shit. Cool, so we just got back to the garage. Um, this is warm, of course, because it's operating temperature, but it's not too hot. I don't know if you can see in there, but the oil, the blah, 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 coolant level is uh, certainly going down a bit, but not down enough that it's like worrying or something like that. So it's looking good. So I'll do that back up. Now I'll keep an eye on that over the next couple of days and we'll see how that goes. But huge shout out to Jules. Looking like a big meme. God, you're exposed. There you are. Thank you. Right. Thanks Jules. Good man. But yeah, um, that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Jules will make a face to me. Um, and yeah, and you know, I'll, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on the, uh, the coolant temperature and whatnot, but it should be pretty good. Um, tons more stuff to come for this car, so be sure to stay tuned, and I'll see you then.